So with the kind of stancy slash tunery look I'm going after with this build, the stock exhaust was not going to cut it. The front half was fine, the rear just was not. So I removed it and created my own. I just got a tube of plastic from the hobby shop and slit a piece of metal wire in there, then drilled a hole in the remaining piece from the exhaust so that it could be connected easily and then started bending it into the correct shape. With the main exhaust piping now done, I also needed a muffler for on the end, so I cut a bigger piece of pipe into a smaller piece and then fit it around there to see if it fit and where it needed to be. Now since this piece is obviously a lot bigger in diameter, I fitted a couple of smaller pieces in there to step it down to the actual piece of the rest of the pipe and then glued that all together. The modifications are now all finished, so I could move on to priming all the parts and painting them in their various different colors. The main reason I'm doing this build is because this is a collaboration with Street Blisters. They brought out a couple of wheel sets in a really high quality plastic, sent me out a couple of sets to use, and I tried them on this build. If you want to know more about their products, check out the links in the description down below to their website and also to mine as I am a dealer for their products. With all of the main parts and pieces for the interior and chassis now painted, I could move on to detailing them a bit. Now the interior is really simple, so the only things I'm going to add are a couple of seats from scale production and also a steering wheel to enhance the look a bit more apart from those stock seats. And I'm going to add some flocking to simulate some carpet. So I laid down a thick layer of clear coat first that was nice and wet and then I immediately poured the flocking on top of it to have it stick nicely. I was debating on adding some carbon fiber decals to the seat backs, but since this interior is already really simple and not that detailed and I already tinted the rear windows pretty dark, that would pretty much all be lost. So I just kept it simple, took out a brush and some gloss black paints from Tamiya and just painted those backs in black. 
With the dashboard being the only really detailed piece that came in the interior with the kit parts, I decided to add onto that a bit by adding a couple of clear coats to some of the screens, also some white and some blue and red as well to detail it out even further. I could add some decals for the dials and then start assembly on the rest of the interior. The main chassis itself was painted with a textured black to simulate an undercoated look, so I added some details to the molded in engine parts. I just painted them all in silver, left some black behind, then gave it a quick wash with some paneline accent color. As I had mentioned in the unboxing video, the disc brakes that came with the kit weren't really anything special, so I decided to replace them with some Fujimi items as well. They sell some separate wheel sets with tires, and they also include these disc brakes, so I had a couple of them laying around which I figured it could be used really well on this build. I painted the calipers with a permanent red marker, and then gave the rest of the disc a bit of a wash to have those drilled and vented slots a bit more detail. The Street Blister's wheels do not come with center caps, so I had to create some of my own. I just took out a punch from Tamiya and some plastic sheet, punched a couple of these holes, and I was left with a perfect center cap. The interior is now finished, and all the parts for the chassis are painted and detailed, so those could be assembled as well. The chassis interior and body are now all together so I could move on to finishing off the wheels. I added the disc brakes into them and then could start gluing them onto the body. However, I firstly needed to space them out a bit so I punched a couple more holes in some plastic sheet to create a couple of these spacers, test fitted some, added a couple more until I was happy with the offset and then just could glue them in place, create a bit of camber and finish it off nicely. Fourth and final wheel now spaced out and glued in place, that was pretty much it. I needed to add a couple more details like the side rear view mirrors, a couple of license plates and also glue in a middle exhaust piece into the rest of the custom exhaust I created at the beginning of the video.
And that's it for this video. The build is now finished. I want to give a huge shout out to Street Blister for sending me out these wheels. And again, if you want to check some of their products out, check out the links in the description down below to their website and also to mine where you can buy these products. Overall, I'm really happy with the build. It's something different from my usual stuff. A bit more stancy, JDM style with some really cool wheels. A couple of details here and there, but not over the top. The kit itself isn't really that complicated, the body looks okay, some of the clear parts don't really fit all that well, especially the ones in the rear, and the detail on the interior is very lacking apart from the dashboard. Now the rear seats are actually supposed to be that way, a couple of you guys pointed that out to me, but it still looks weird even if it's actually the way it's supposed to be on the car. So overall, not too bad, really quick fun build, and I didn't really have any trouble whatsoever in assembly. So I can advise it if you want to get some off of your bench in a really short time span.